So this being a channel that talks about children's bones, aka pediatric orthopedic surgery, I feel it's very important for us to talk about something that makes children's bones special. These are the growth plates. So growth plates are areas um, on the ends of long bones, mostly on the ends of long bones, also on other areas of bones as well, where the bone grows longer from. So this makes children's bones very unique because they can adapt and reshape to any kind of deformity. Hello, welcome back to Little Growing Bones and today we'll be diving into a very important topic that is crucial to the understanding of how um, our bodies grow and develop and that's because of the growth plates. So first things first, what are growth plates? Well, think of them as the engine behind children's growth spurt during our early childhood and during adolescence. These areas of cartilage at the end of bones uh, in children and, 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 and adolescents at the end of long bones in children and adolescents is where the growth occurs from. These plates are what allow bone to lengthen and ultimately for us to reach the adult height. But, but here's the kicker. Growth plates aren't permanent. As we get older, these plates gradually close off and they're replaced by solid bone. So once they're closed, that's it. No more growth in height. This closure typically happens in late adolescence, but the exact timing can vary from person to person. So generally, the growth plate of most girls closes, about, closes by about 14 years, while the growth plate of boys normally by 16 years, they're closed or starting to close. So now you may be wondering, why is understanding growth plate important? Well, for starters, it can help us understand why certain injuries in children or adolescents need special attention. Since growth plates are softer and more vulnerable than mature bone, they are more prone to fractures. And therefore, an understanding of this helps you to look out for them if you're expecting this kind of injury. Additionally, understanding about growth plates can help parents and caregivers understand what to expect during the growth spurts or the growth and development of children. So it's normal for kids to grow through growth spurts, but understanding the role of growth plates can help put um, any concerns or questions into perspective. So to wrap things up, growth plates are vital structures in children's bones, and they're responsible for the growth in height during childhood and adolescence, and even the circumferential growth of the bone. They start to gradually close as we reach late adolescence, and a good understanding of these can help us navigate injury prevention and growth-related concerns. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns about growth plates or your child's development, don't hesitate to consult your doctor. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, keep it on little growing ones.